Thanks. Hi, I'm John Dalton. I'm Director of Communications and Marketing here at Indiana University East. And I want to thank the IU East Library for asking me to read something for Band Books Week. Thank you, bud. I've got Catch-22 right here by Joseph Heller. Uh, when I was a high school student, this book really meant a lot to me. It's one of the great novels of the 20th century. And so I'd like to go ahead and start with that today. Uh, and we're going to start right here with Chapter 1, The Texan. It was love at first sight. The first time Yossarian saw the chaplain, he fell madly in love with him. Yossarian was in the hospital with a pain in his liver that felt just short of being jaundiced. The doctors were puzzled by the fact that it wasn't quite jaundiced. If it became jaundice, they could treat him. If it didn't become jaundice and went away, they could discharge him. But this just being short of jaundice all the time confused them. Each morning they came around, three brisk and serious men with efficient mouths and inefficient eyes, accompanied by brisk and serious Nurse Duckett, one of the workers who didn't like you, Sarian. They read the chart at the foot of the bed and asked him patiently about the day. They seemed irritated when he told them it was exactly the same. The doctors explained Nurse Duckett made a note to give Yossarian another pill, and the four of them moved along to the next bed. None of the nurses liked, liked Yossarian. Actually, the pain in his liver had gone away. But Yossarian didn't say anything, and the doctors never suspected. They just suspected that he had been moving his bowels and not telling anyone. Yossarian had everything he wanted in the hospital. The food wasn't too bad, and his meals were brought to him in bed. There were extra rations of meat, and during the hot part of the afternoon, he and the others were served chilled fruit juice or chilled chocolate milk. Apart from the doctors and the nurses, no one ever disturbed him. For a little while in the morning, he had to censor letters, but he was free after that to spend the rest of each day lying around idly with a clear conscience. He was comfortable in the hospital, and it was easy to stay on because he always ran a temperature of 101. He was even more comfortable than Dunbar who had to keep falling down on his face in order to get his meals brought to him in bed. After he had made up his mind to spend the rest of the war in the hospital, Yossarian wrote letters to everyone he knew, saying that he was in the hospital but never mentioning why. One day he had a better idea. To everyone he knew, he wrote that he was going on a very dangerous mission. They asked for volunteers. It's very dangerous, but somehow someone has to do it. I'll write to you the instant I get back. And he had not written any of them since. Again, this is a great novel, Catch-22, by Joseph Heller. Um, I want to again thank the IU East Library for asking me to do this today. And remember, free speech is to protect the things you don't want to hear, not the things you want to hear. Thanks for listening.